Welcome to episode 186 of Clarity Compressed. I'm Paul J. Daly. Today, we're going to be talking about how to attract the right attention. This is the universal sign for attracting the right attention. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. I might step on some toes with this issue episode. I don't want to, and maybe I won't. I don't know. But I've heard a lot of things about the law of attraction. And admittedly, I haven't like studied all the different thought processes on the law of attraction. But here's what I gather from a lot of people that talk about it. If you think hard enough and you will it into existence, then the things that you want will be attracted to you. And I think at a surface level, if you just leave it at that, it's kind of just a bunch of, oh, it's crap, too strong of a word. But I, I think it's just wishful thinking. I think that it, it just puts you in a place where you think that if you dream it, it can happen or it will happen, which is even more dangerous. And I that hasn't been my experience in life. And that hasn't been the experience of a lot or most or maybe all of the people that I know. My, my business coach in this season of my life, Dave Meltzer, he's helped me reframe this mentality of attraction. And he talks about it in a way where it's, you put a marker out there and that marker is what attracts people to you. And that really resonates with me because that is kind of, it's not really a secret, but that is how I've been operating really my whole life, but really intentionally over the last 10 years as I've been making a lot of content, probably most specifically in, in the last seven years as I've been making more content because as we, as professionals and as people that are constantly on social media or we're constantly doing things to try to you know, build our careers, build our lives, get toward the things that we find fulfilling, we find meaningful, a lot of us, if you're watching this, most of us are making content or are doing things or putting ourselves out there into the world. And what that is actually doing, whether intentionally or not, that is attracting certain types of people to us. I'm not even talking about on social media. Actually, this goes very, very human, very, very personal. It's like how you behave. What is your demeanor? And so in this, in this short episode, I want to just talk about the things that I do intentionally to attract people to me that I feel I can bring value to and can bring value to me. It really is a trade-off. And so whenever you make something, whenever you create a piece of content, everything communicates. Everything communicates. The hat that I wear communicates. The way that I speak communicates. The equipment I use communicates. Where I post this communicates. The copy I write communicates. Who I hang around communicates. Who I don't hang around communicates. Who I follow communicates. Who I don't follow communicates. How I treat my family communicates. How I prioritize my team communicates. How I handle bad situations or tough situations communicates. How I can be passive and not address things that need to be addressed communicates. You see where I'm going with this? Every action you take, also every inaction that you don't take, that's a double negative. Every action and every, every action and every inaction communicates something. And as we are doing all these things that are constantly communicating to the world around us, guess what? We're attracting things, people, opportunities into our lives that either move us in the direction we want to go or the other way, in a direction we don't want to go. And there are a lot of varying degrees, right? I don't know that we can, it's very difficult to know the precise direction we should go, right? Because it's life, it's bumpy, it's, it's bruisy, There's things, there are things that happen. The underlying um, principle is that the intentionality by which we walk and which we operate and which we create and which we act and which we interact that trajectory, that intentionality is what is the differentiator, I believe, between attracting the right things and not. That intentionality comes through understanding your own 
mission and vision and values and the things that you hold dear in your life and then you hold dear in your career and which, you know, that really define the direction and the trajectory that you want to go, the more intentional you get with defining those things, the more intentional you are about attracting and not attracting. Because as soon as you put a marker out there, the second you make something, the second you make a decision, the second you dress a certain way, the second you talk about things in a certain way, you decide to post this or not post this, the second you do that, guess what? You are now dividing. You're saying, this is what I believe, this is not what I believe. And because when you do that, naturally, the people that believe the same as you are gonna move toward you, and the people that don't are going to not move any closer, or maybe they'll even back up, or maybe they'll check out. And if you know what you're heading toward, you know the trajectory of your life, guess what? That's a good thing. It's a good thing when the people that aren't going to serve that and you cannot serve move away. Why? Because it's, the noise goes away. And now you can focus on the community you can serve and the community who can serve you, right? That synergy is what creates great opportunity. That synergy is what creates fulfillment in life. And yes, there are no really straight lines. There are no uh, perfect relationships. There are no perfect business relationships or opportunities. Everything's a give and take. Everything's a let's feel this out and let's see which way it goes and let's pivot and let's maneuver and let's, you know, uh, work with it as it goes along. But understanding what is driving you, understanding the trajectory you're going in and then acting in a manner which serves that, guess what? That's attractional. That is where the community starts to gather. That's where you find your people. And then guess what? The people that you find, they know people. And then they know people. And the real power in this, this kind of attractional mindset is like when you get around the people that think the same way, feel the same way, or going in the same direction, you now get the multiplier of all of their relationships to the second and third levels. But I don't know if you've, you've ever heard this or read this. I cannot remember exactly uh, where I read it, but your most powerful network that you have is the second level. It's not the people you know, it's the people that they know. Because if you think about the multiplier of that, if you know 100 people that know 100 people, and now you have a relationship with that first 100, guess what? You have a really close relationship with their 100. See how that works? And so today, I hope that this encourages you. You know, I'm talking about clarity. I'm talking about getting perspective of where you are on the map so that then you can go in the direction that you want to go. But you can't do that until you understand where you are. So today, I want you to ask yourself, what am I attracting through the way I act, my demeanor, not only in front of the camera, but more importantly, not in front of the camera? Am I being intentional about my life? Am I being intentional about what I do in order, in a manner that will attract the things to me that I want in my life? I can't just think hard enough and make it happen. No, I got to, I got to, you know, what uh, Dave Meltzer says, uh, deploy, the, deploy the law of Goya. Get off your, you know, this, I, I think I've ever cursed on this podcast. Gary Vaynerchuk has. I haven't, so I'm not going to. So Goya, the law of get off your, that's actually how we're going to do it today. So I hope that you get out there. I hope that you get intentional about what you're creating, who you're serving, how you're serving. Maybe if you're into it, what you're wearing. And that so that we can attract the people together that believe the same things that we do so that we can really go out and make a change and serve other people. And in doing so, guess what? There's a lot of fulfillment and success to be had. I hope you have an amazing week and I'll talk to you next week. We came to fight.